y'all. Um, got a lot done on this pit yesterday. I didn't get any video done because, man, me and the guy, Matt Houston, that we was I'm building it for, we was out here going so hard. Just didn't really have time to do any video. Didn't even think about it, honestly. But um, show you where we at. Try to get a little bit of video on it today. You can kind of see it right there. We got the door framed in. Most of the welding done on it, not all of it. But uh, this angle up here is just a brace. And there's stuff laying all over it. We got a lot of the welding done on it. Still got to do some back here and on the back side. Got the smoke pipe put in. It's reverse flow, so the pipe is on this side. Got it 45 out, so the smoke will go out that way. We got the plate put in. It's not all the way welded yet. Uh, like I say, the guy that I'm doing it for, he was here, Matt, and he did some of the welding here. He welded some years back, and he's trying to get his hand back on it. I'm doing pretty good, though. You can't really see it. You can see the edge of it here, but there's a trough right there, and a pipe will weld down through it that'll come out the bottom of the ball valve so the grease can flow that way and go out of it. Because there's going to be a lot of grease in here. There'll be a rack here, rack up here. I think we're doing pretty good. We might could have got that plate a little lower. I don't know. But I think it's going to work out. There's the burn box. Got the door put on. Still got to do a vent on it. The door opened sideways. So it won't, because it will bump that pipe right there if you try to open it up. So I'll open it sideways. Still a little fixing to do on it, but uh, it's looking pretty good. We got the door cut out and bent for this right here. We just got to get it on and get the framing stuff done on it and everything. Right now I'm going to try to get some more of the welding done. I got to fix some welds right here and get some of the welding done back there. I got to go to church in about an hour and a half, so we're going to try to get a little bit done right quick. Still not getting a lot of footage, man. It's just we're trying so hard to keep up with this time limit. We need it to be cook ready by uh by Friday at the latest. Little festival's coming up. We're not gonna be able to finish the trailer, but we're trying to get the pit at least cook ready where he can cook on it. But this is what we got so far. We got the door put on. We got this other piece of plate put in. We fell short on the floor plate. And we don't want to buy a whole nother sheet just to make up this little strip. So we're probably going to put uh, just a regular piece of flat plate in there. It's only a 7-inch strip. It'll probably never be seen because there'll probably be stuff over it. But we got the door put in. We use regular weld-on hinges right there. Just stitch the uh, angle iron frame around the door. Just to clean it up a little bit. Still got something catching on that side over there I gotta clean off. This piece you see right there that holds the door up, it's got to change. I knew better than to put one in the center and I did it anyway. It bows the door out when it's when it's uh up against it. You can't really see it there, but it bows it. But anyway, we got it going. We're all welded up except for one little corner there. That's the that plate is in there for the reverse flow effect. It's just got stuff laying all over it. Of course, in reverse flow, your hole from the burn box is up under there. All your grease will come this way, go into this tray right here, 
there'll be a pipe coming through there down to the bottom of the tank with a ball valve and of course your heat will come back up here come all the way back to your pipe right here you can see how it's opened up it's wide open in there I gotta vent this barn box I gotta uh, do something with that right there cuz that was just a bad setup still got a lot of things to do still got to get racks in it most of all and go from there did get a little gap right there can't do nothing about it it's just a door bowed when we cut it out they do it every time you get lucky if it don't bow but I've never got lucky so it's always bowed but anyway that's where we're at right now